Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mystic Wolf, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I know it's been a while. You know, I've been doing my whole album rollout, marketing, plus I actually just did that whole little, you know, vinyl collection update thing. You know, if you guys want to go check that out, you know, I'll leave a card up here or somewhere in the description, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Miss Knowles, Miss Beyonce. I'm going to be seeing her today, the time you're watching this video, and maybe because, you know, I'm filming this today of the day I'm actually going to go see her. It's actually around 1 o'clock, which I need to be sleeping. But anyway, I'm going to be seeing her. I'm so freaking excited. I'm not like the biggest Beyonce fan. I'm not part of the beehive, but, you know, shout out to a friend. You, uh, you know who you are up in Philly. She's actually my birthday twin. She actually got me tickets on the low low, you know, and I'm really, really just happy that she actually just got me tickets so that way I can just I'm able to even go. Um, this is actually my first time going to Pennsylvania. I've been there. I've tried well, I've not been there before, but I've traveled like you know through. If I was just going to school, like if I was on a train, but I've never really like actually been in Pennsylvania. You would think because you know I'm like literally living in New York, like we're pretty much cousins at this point. I've never traveled to Pennsylvania, and much less a whole state by myself again, unless it was for school uh by myself or if i was gonna go visit a friend but you know i'm gonna go to the hotel i think it's the radisson hotel because it's super duper close to the lincoln uh lincoln uh financial field or the memorial field whatever the lincoln field the, the damn arena thing that i'm gonna be going to go see her at and you know i just felt like everything you know was gonna it's gonna work out location wise so i don't have to walk or drive long distances in order to just go and see her but anyways yes i'm gonna be capturing everything i'm gonna be capturing while i'm going to the bus i'm going to the train i'm in the hotel you know the fit you know the songs not everything because you know i want to get copyrighted as obviously you know i love beyonce please i, I listen lakewood whatever please do not sue me i i just want to no stop it this is an artist that i've grew up listening to since I, like the age of six five from crazy in love to irreplaceable to you know like you know to alien superstar you know we've really we've been here since day one so i feel like you know this is like a long time coming you know like kind of like a full circle type of moment this is my vlog of beyonce's renaissance tour in philadelphia pennsylvania whatever and i'm just really excited to share you guys my journey so come with me come along as we experience beyonce together in her glory i know you've probably seen a lot of youtube videos of her performing what whatever anyways let's get the video and the vlog started are you guys ready are you guys ready <laughs> this is like my introduction back to like youtube or whatever all right let's get it i'll see you guys in the morning all right what's good y'all i just woke up um it's currently yeah, i want to say 9 18 in the morning um yeah i don't really like waking up so early in the morning i'm not a morning person personally but hey to people who are that's y'all thing just going to clean my room i'm about to wash my face and get ready for my fit of the concert so that way you guys know what i'm, what, what I'm wearing ahead of time let's just get into it already so <laughs> As you can see, we are in Philadelphia, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? First time in Philly. Again, I passed by it when I was in school or some shit, but you know what I'm saying? Not too bad so far. Then again, you know, this is just like, you know, the tourist area, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what Philly we got going on. I mean, I know Meek live here. I know Will Smith live here. I know Uzi Vert live here. I know all the mother niggas live here. Oh. 
All right, what's fucking good, people? And we are at the Radisson Hotel in Philly, my nigga. As you can fucking see, we got the TV, nice beds, you know what I'm saying? All right, you know, we looking good right now. You know, we got the little couch or whatever. You know, nice little, you know, desk area. You know, this is the, the mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the buy this in the mall type shit, you know? A little sneak peek to the fit. But the bathrooms, my nigga, bathrooms looking kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. It, it was looking pretty nice. You know, we got the motherfucking bathroom and shit. We got the shower and shit. You know what I'm saying? If I want to look all nice, squeaky clean. So, you know, for, for a hotel that I only booked, like, maybe, like, 134 this ain't half bad. This actually not half bad. It's actually what I wanted. And then the view type shit. Damn, nigga, we at the fifth floor type shit with it. So, you know, that's how we living right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me talk to y'all niggas. Let me talk to y'all niggas real quick. I got off the bus or whatever. Cool, fine. That was tight type shit. Then I went to my Uber app, tried to call myself an Uber. Um, it was this white bitch. I forget what car she was driving. So I was like, all right. So she was on her way. She was like two minutes away. When she got to the destination, I tried to call her. I called this bitch two fucking times. Two times. Canceled the fucking ride. I'm like, bitch, you could have just answered my call and just tell me where you were because where I was at, I was dropped out at a Wells Fargo type shit. So I was trying to like, you know, look both ways because there was a lot of white cars around the area and it looked pretty similar. So I didn't want to go in somebody's car and be like, hey, is this you? And look dumb as fuck. I called the other Uber. He got back. He got back to me. So which, that was good. I got a little bit confused. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't be traveling like that, y'all. It's very a rarity where I really be traveling type shit. So I really have to be my senses and my awareness has to be on one thousand type shit he was able to you know drive me here we good it's around 2 45 right now um the concert doesn't start until 7 so we're just gonna be chilling out for now i'm probably gonna leave like about an hour and a half early you know i want to get there on time you know niggas is gonna be in the line they're gonna be packed it's gonna be fucking packed you know what i'm saying this goddamn arena that we talking about this fucking beyonce so niggas gonna be really there popping out show you guys my my drip you know what we rocking right now type shit this is what we got going on right now we got the the salon the salana type shit i couldn't find a beyonce shirt so please don't flame me uh beehive you know we got the gohan little you know figure right here we got you know the blue jeans going crazy and then we got the doc martens on deck you know what i'm saying i wanted to wear my white shoes but i always wear my motherfucking white shoes so i was like you know what doc martens times bitch and, you know, I got the cross type shit, you know what I'm saying? I got the BLM, because you know what? Black Lives do motherfucking matter. I got the Apple Watch on here type shit. So, you know, we looking pretty good right now for fits type thing. You know, I didn't want to do nothing crazy. So, that's what we got going on for fits. And I will see you guys when I get to the Wells. I said the Wells Fargo's. To the Lincoln Field Memorial. Uh, the Lincoln Financial Field Arena. I'll be here just chilling in the meantime. And, uh, yeah. So, I've made it inside. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Woo! It's hot. There's a lot of people. I'm not used to arena tours at all. I'm used to, you know, my little small little venues and, you know, my stadiums. But arenas, it's a little intimidating. I am high up. I'm like section 209. So I have like the highest floor in the motherfucking stadium. And it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to take in um, at first glance. But I think we're going to survive. You know, I got me my little popcorn. I ate a pretzel. I also got merch. Which, you know, not bad. I still liked it. I figured why not because it's memories, you know. Um, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people just moving back and forth. And trust me, there's going to be even more people coming up. Anyways, so to this point, um, I'm going to be showing the concert. If I'm loud, I'm loud. If I sing terribly, I sing terribly. Deal with it. If you want to see the whole tour, you know where to go on YouTube. But this is my experience, so deal with it. Enjoy the concert. All right, y'all, we are here at the stadium. Um, I am really high up, really, really high up. Um, I'm currently waiting for Beyonce to come out. She should come out any minute now. It's around eight, so she might be late. She might be pulling the Lauryn Hill on us. I don't know, but I never said, if there was one song I really wanted to see live, it's probably One Plus One. It's one of my favorite Beyonce songs of all time obviously are classics like irreplaceable um crazy in love uh love on top i really oh best i ever had i really love that song a lot it's one of my favorite songs there too yeah we'll just see how it goes from here
since Tyler the Creator. Like, between Tyler and, and Beyonce, oh, it's like neck and neck, but it, I'm not even the big Beyonce fan. That shit was amazing. Oh my God, so many people, so many good times, so many great songs, so many great moments. I am awestruck. That was one of the best shows 
ever in a while, honestly. I really need it tonight. I'm heading down right now to leave this goddamn arena because Jesus Christ being up that high scared the fuck out of me. But we made it through the night. And I'm just here. I'm out of breath. I'm thirsty as shit. But I just want to let y'all niggas know, man. That shit was fucking tight. Thank you, Beyonce. Shout out to Jasmine Sullivan. I fucking saw you. We see you. Shout out to Blue. Shout out to all the dancers. Shout out to all the staff. Everybody who put this motherfucking thing together. Y'all motherfucking did y'all motherfucking thing. Y'all niggas is crazy. It's Mr. Blue. Out. Hey, so. So this is the morning after the concert's over. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys, like, my whole shirt, like, in full. I know I showed it on the video, but... You know, this is like the tour dates and all the other shit. So, you know, nothing too crazy. I got this for $55. The merch was pretty okay. You know, they could have, you know, kind of done, they could have stepped it up. But you know what? I'm proud to even just own a Beyonce shirt. I hadn't had Beyonce anything. I had my Solana shirt. And I was like, I know, I feel like I need to wear another shirt. But hey, either way, it was still good. It's still nice quality. It's probably gonna last me for a long time. But anyways, you know, I I'd rather like record this right now so I still get my raw first reaction still while I'm still soaking the moment in, you know, while I'm still kind of like trying to process everything that happened. Again, from all the videos that y'all just seen, this woman is a performer. Like again, it kind of reminded me again of how Tyler the Creator, like when he came in, when I first saw him, how much of a performer he is. Like the, the energy, the, the the charm, the stage presence, the set design, like the, the stage design, the just the charisma, the 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 freaking dexterity, the stamina, like the, the outfit changes, the, the dancers, the horse, her is freaking on a harness and just flying shit. Blue was there. Jasmine Sullivan was goddamn there. The bitch was motherfucking was, you know what I'm saying, was doing the I just wanna rock the mashups between her old songs to her new songs and how she kept on transitioning and then coming and then bringing the song literally back. Like it was just amazing. Like even the transitions from like, and I'm like, Beyonce, give us the visual album. What is wrong with you, woman? Like you, there's, there's something there that you have within this two hour show that you can literally drop the visual album if it's part of the act two of whatever renaissance i don't see why not drop it i mean she probably will who knows but i don't know either way um a lot of my songs that i wanted performed was performed i wish Dan uh, so dangerously dangerously love was performed sorry um i wish uh replaceable was performed i wish sorry was performed uh there was still like a good bulk of beyonce songs to still kind of be explored but again considering i'm not a biggest beyonce fan i'll take what i can get I, she still played crazy in love she still played you know flawless and 7-eleven she still played all, all of renaissance obviously because the renaissance tour it makes sense but you know i still got what i wanted and even the songs that were playing we still kind of got segments of them and saw bits of them and i was like you know what i can still live with that but either way it still made up for again like how charming she is and either way like my seat was really far like honestly that was probably like you know one of like my more int not intimidating but more like awkward experiences as far as like being at a live music show because I don't like being super high up, especially like at a live show. I'm trying to enjoy the music and like, I feel like I was like at a roller, not roller coaster, but it's like, I saw the damn clouds and the damn skies. I was like, Jesus Christ, like this is a little too much for me. You know what I'm saying? To like really process all at once, like oh, all the people, like everything, but at least you see like a good scope of everything. But that was like probably my only thing. I got my stomach kind of tightened a little bit, but after a while when Beyonce came in, we was good to go, we was locked in. Also there was this one girl who had our little phone phone light on or her like case light on bitch don't do that i was really enjoying heated and you fucking ruined my goddamn moment if you want to take selfies go take that after the concert but nigga i'm trying to enjoy her and your whole fucking light is beaming like his goddamn rihanna shine bright like a diamond like bitch if i don't if I take that damn phone fling all across the state bitch enjoy the damn show what's wrong with you you know how many people wish they could be here right now you're literally like just Shut the fuck up. I hate people like that. Yeah, just so many great moments, man. I mean, there was not ever a dull moment. Like, again, like, even the voguing was so goddamn fire. Even uh, the, the the girls who performed. Shout out to the girls who performed. I don't know who y'all who you, who you are, but who the, 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 the four girls or women that performed, y'all killed it. Shout out to y'all. Um, even, again, like, I think she did, like, a Jackson little five, like, five little stuff. That was really cool. Everything, man. There's so much to unpack in just two damn hours that 
you're just not gonna catch freaking everything. Even like how you did like the lights and how like it kind of hit the projector and like kind of like made shapes and like, you know, kind of like, it was so fire. It was so fire, the tour was fire. As far as Tyler and Beyonce, it's really neck and neck for me, but of course Tyler, cause it's like, you know, that's more sentimental value for me cause I've been listening to Tyler for years. But Beyonce is also that because I've also been listening to her for probably as long as Tyler and I have. So damn bro, like it's great to be a music fan, honestly, you know, just, from freaking you know being on the mega bus and then you know traveling all the way from new york to philly and being on this nice you know hotel even though it was pretty expensive to just you know sit in, in, in beds like this and you know going on stages just to see beyonce like i'm really living the life right now for real for real like this year was it's been kind of like shaky and rough but there have been a lot of great ass moments that i'm just able to just experience not only just with myself but like just with people and friends in general i wish i had i guess a friend or someone to just come with because i don't really like going places alone but it makes me appreciate and love the experience and the adventure more because i'm doing things by myself this was a very, very huge risk for me because i don't really go outside and travel all that often but for beyonce i had to make an exception but you know I can tell my kids about this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that is actually really cool to, you know, even just talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a like, comment, share, whatever you need to fucking do. Um, again, if you are going to this concert, please go. You know, this is definitely a show you don't want to miss, for sure. Um, you know, and just, you know, be prepared, you know, bring your fans. This shit, I keep my hand, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it, you know, oh, you know what you need to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Whatever I'll do next, it'll be fire. Y'all already know what it's gonna be. So thank y'all. Say goodbye to the room. You know, nice little room. For the price that I paid for, it's not too bad. So I love y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, evening, night, wherever you're seeing this from. Thank you, Beyonce. Thank you, Philly. You, y'all owe me nothing. Unique.